Hi Virgo, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Virgo, this spread is from your person's perspective. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Tower, we have the Two of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords, we have the Four of Wands and uh, we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. My oh my Virgo, um, if this is an ex, if you are inquiring about an ex, this person is really broken hearted, they are still stuck, they have not moved on. Or if this is somebody new but you already know them, then this person either just recently broke up with somebody or this person just recently went through a major, a major devastation and they're still recovering from that. They have not healed. They're still in that energy. So we've got the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Three of Swords is a card of a betrayal. This is a card of a heartbreak. Uh, this is a card of a major breakup. All right? So this is a card of devastation. And uh, the first card that came out is the Five of Cups and it's clarified by the Tower. The Five of Cups is somebody who is grieving. The Five of Cups is about somebody who thinks about the past and it's clarified by the Tower. The Tower in this spread is about something coming crashing down to the ground. So it could be could have been a relationship or marriage with you or it could have been a relationship or marriage or something else that happened in their life, right? Something something definitely devastated this person. It's I that this person is in pain as we speak, as you're watching this video. Then we have the Teal Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords. The Teal Wands is a card of uh, somebody who is uh, standing still. Perhaps they're trying to make some kind of a decision or perhaps they're looking into the, starting to look into the future, trying to figure out what their next step is, but they're stuck. See, the Teal Wands is a stationary card, it's not a dynamic card. And the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Teal Wands, is a card of somebody who is stuck, somebody who is trapped, most likely in their own thoughts. Um, right next to the deck we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a relationship card or marriage card, but I think this is what's on the mind of this person. It could be a family card. Perhaps this person just went through a major um, issue related to their family, right? And uh, this Four of Wands could be that family card or relationship card or marriage card. So uh, Virgo, this is a tough one. If this is an ex, then uh, this person is uh, not taking it very well. Or if this is a new person and you're thinking of uh, reaching out to them, perhaps it's too soon because this person is in real serious pain right now. Perhaps you can reach out to them and just sort of offer to comfort them, reach out to them, see if and see if they need your help and uh, at some point in the future it could uh, develop into something more than just friends, more than just you helping them out but um, if this is a new person I, I would never suggest starting a relationship with someone who just recently went through a major breakup because they're still healing because they could it could just be a rebound to be honest with you that's what often happens but you never know. I don't know the exact details about your situation, but what I do know for sure, like I already said, this person is grieving, this person is um, devastated right now. So um, I'm not going to look into, in the second spread I will not look into the potential between you and this person. Instead, we'll look at the new person coming towards you in the near future. Here's spread number two, Virgo. This is a new person coming towards you, um, hopefully in March. Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have Justice, we have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Lovers. And uh, we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or an Aries or pretty much anybody. This is a general reading. Um, this is an interesting spread. 
It could be somebody new whom you actually work with, so it doesn't have to be a brand new person, somebody you already know. Or if this is somebody new coming towards you, then uh, they will really want to put a lot of effort into it. They will be um, ready from the get-go to invest into this relationship because they will see you as somebody they will want to spend the rest of their life with, quite literally. And I'm not just uh, over-exaggerating. And here's why. <laughs> we have the Eight of Pentacles right there. And uh, I'm going to jump over to the Three of Pentacles. Uh, the third card from the left. And the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles could be a card of uh, your workplace. right? So it could be somebody from uh, your workplace or somebody you do your business with. But uh, most likely the Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in a lot of effort into this. I don't think they will think that... A connection with you will require a lot of work, but this is just their dedication. They are ready to settle down, they're ready to start a family, they're ready to invest. And uh, the Three of Pentacles is all about building something from the ground up, making sure the foundation is solid, because they want to make sure that uh, it's done correctly from the get-go because they want to start a family with you. Speaking of the family, the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the marriage cards or a committed relationship cards. The Ten of Cups is actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or even marriages. So if having children is still an option for you, the two of you have, could have uh, children together or a child together. In the Ten of Cups we see a couple of adults but also a couple of kids jumping around. Right. So like I said, this person is ready to invest. This person is uh, looking at you as, as somebody whom uh, they want to be with for years and years to come. Justice card, the second card from the left. It could be a Libra you're dealing with. Or justice is all about the legal system. And uh, by the legal system, I mean somebody has to have a <laughs> an authorization to marry people, right? So it could represent that. Um, in the potential outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But since we have the Two of Pentacles and I pulled the Lovers, I stopped right there. I usually do, I usually pull three cards, but uh, the Lovers is also a card of a choice and so is the Two of Pentacles. So it's going to be a choice. I think it's going to be up to you, Virgo. It's going to be your choice whether you want to get uh, together with this person, whether you want to uh, build something together with this person or not. And we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor is the personal Aries card, so you could be dealing with an Aries. Or the Emperor is um, a future husband figure, or a future significant other figure, or somebody will just have to step up. Somebody will have to embrace the energy of the Emperor. Somebody will have to take control of the situation. It could be you. Perhaps this person is uh, just waiting for a sign from you after a conversation the two of you may have, right? So you'll just have to um, take control and uh, let this person know. And uh, with the uh, two decision cards, the two of pentacles, the lovers, it could be you needing to assume control in the, of your own decision-making process, right? So if you... Um, just put this person on hold. I don't know what this person will do. They will most likely wait for your answer, but you will have to step up and make that decision. And uh, if you do that, like I said, this person is ready to uh, get this show on the road with you. This person wants to have a commitment or this person wants to marry you, Virgo. All right, so that's what I got for you, Virgo. Uh, hopefully it resonates. If it does, please like this video. And other than that, Virgo, have an amazing March. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.